Hello, fellow marketers. Welcome to another episode of Directive R&D. In today's lab, I'm joined by one of my lab partners, uh, Josh Nelson. Josh, our innovation manager, say hey. How's it going, partner? <laughs> Glad to have you back. Looking forward to talking to, about something today that's a little technical, but very effective and has high impact. So today's topic's about n-gram analysis. It's a fancy way of saying you're taking a bunch of words and uh, analyzing it all to, to find commonalities and trends between that grouping of words. And grams are like strings of words and N, N stands for a variable. So you might be looking at two words together, three words together, one word together. Um, weird concept, but why we use it is to find, uh, specifically for PPC and Google ads, is to find um, top performing trends and low performing trends with your keywords and search terms. So without further ado, I'm gonna share my screen a little bit and share more of the tactical uh, knowledge behind it. And Josh is gonna help me. So let me add my stream here real quick. Cool. So um, Josh, talk to me about Optimizer. What am I looking at here? Yeah, so you're looking at uh, their built-in Ngram analysis analyzer tool. Um, mm -hmm. It's got a nice uh, word cloud. You're able to select how many grams you want to go down to and pick in search terms by either clicks, conversions, or what have you. Mm -hmm. um, and it just gives you a really good view of what the core of what you want to find in an n-gram analysis. Right. And you can do this for good things, bad things, right? So you can sort by whatever KPI. Or is there a certain KPI or metric you like to use to sort by? Usually we're gonna be like looking at uh, conversion volume, uh, cost per conversion too, right? Cause we wanna be able to spot uh, those opportunities um, mm -hmm. of keywords that are um, not performing well or search terms that are not performing well. In that case, you would look at cost per conversion. Mm -hmm. um, and then if you're looking for any opportunities for like new keywords to add to the account, uh, or just top performers, you would look at conversion volume as well as conversion rate and all that. Nice. And one of the cool things about Optimizer is that you can like start selecting things and start making changes to your account based on these findings, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it makes it all very easy. It's all built in. So you don't have to like go through the trouble of creating a script, going through the Excel file, going back in to uh, add in those negatives and whatnot. Optimizer really makes it easy to kind of do everything within the platform. Right, right. Um, any tips for people trying to do this analysis using a, a tool like this? Um, I would say the biggest tip is just to make sure that your date range is set as like large enough, uh, large, yeah. large enough to make sense, right? Because you're looking for trends, we're aggregating data. Mm -hmm. So you want that data set to be a pretty considerably large data set so that you're making those informed decisions. Makes sense. This is just a sample company here, fake data, don't worry about it. Um, cool. So that's super helpful. Um, optimizers, the tool, shout out to them, really uh, handy Google ads optimization tool we like to use um, for various use cases. Um, Sweet. So say if uh, for our listeners that are running paid campaigns or PPC campaigns in Google ads, um, are, are there other ways to uh, do the n-gram analysis? There are. There's uh, a script that you could find um, just by Googling n-gram analysis, Google ads. It's on search engine land. Um, but uh, this is put together by Brain Labs. Just throw this script into your Google ads account. There's instructions in there, but this will do it'll uh, create a spreadsheet in Google Sheets so they can go in there and start your uh, doing your analysis and whatnot. Very cool. I remember I was intimidated a few years ago trying to run this the first time, but it's not that bad. I think the instructions are pretty clear. Uh, shout out to BrainLabs for putting this together for us noobs back in the day. But you can uh, just copy all of this, go to scripts within Google Ads. Um, you can search it at the top of the dashboard scripts and you'll find where to go. And then the instructions are pretty clear um, on what you're trying to look for. And uh, I have another example here. Um, let me jump to this. Um, so this is the output. Is that right, Josh? Correct. Yeah. So it'll give you like based off of like what you enter into the script and it's easy to configure. You only got to fill in like five spaces in the script. 
Mm -hmm. uh, but it'll give you a count, a uh, word level, two gram campaign, all the way down to the ad group level. So it's um, gets pretty deep. Very cool. Yeah. So yeah, feel free to use that. Another free tool is this cool ngram analyzer analyzer tool. Um, I like to use this for aggregating lots of text, whether it's reviews or other details that I can, I want to analyze a lot of words at once to see if there's commonalities. You can, you can do an export of Google and Google ads of the top performing search terms or the worst performing ones if you want to get rid of negatives um, and dump them in here. And then you'll be able to change this to see one, two, three grams, um, meaning words in that phrase, and then use that. So that one's a free tool as well. You just had to, to Google ngram analyzer. Um, but yeah, let me stop sharing here. And we can kind of talk about more a little bit around the use case. Um, so when when would an ngram analysis be be you know useful for paid media? Is it when it's a giant account right from the beginning? When it, when do you think it's the best useful? Um, it's definitely more useful on the giant accounts with mm -hmm. huge data sets when you have tens and twenties and just a bunch of campaigns running and you have so many search terms that you need to mine through. Uh, you got to be able to find a way to kind of aggregate that and find some sort of way to effectively mine all of that without taking hours of your time. Right. That makes sense. And you can do it both for looking for bad performing terms as well as good performing terms. Is right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Nice. Yeah. So, um, how often do you would you say for people to kind of uh, run this type of analysis? Uh, I mean, it all depends on how much you're spending, but I mean, a good rule of thumb is to do like at least like once. I don't want to like say a specific number, <laughs> but right. uh, like at least once a month, really. Yeah. Um, if at you're least... spending a lot, um, you can do once a week, but it's really yeah. like my go-to if I'm going to try to make large moves in. Uh, cleaning up uh, any sort of search terms. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's a loaded question. It's whatever, whenever you can. Depends on how much data you have and the spend and the scale you have. But yeah, um, highly recommend the viewers check out this this technique, this tactic that um, might be able to improve your PPC performance. Um, yeah, and Josh, thanks for being here. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in this post, and we will get back to you. Um, if you're running into any issues with trying to implement this, but thanks Josh for uh, showing up today and uh, we'll see you next time. All right. See you later.